excited about this vlog here because I'm actually in New York City. Um, I just landed uh, and I'm, on, I'm here for a grad school interview. Um, I'm pursuing a PhD in neuroscience and NYU is one of my top choices. So they flew me out here fully funded to learn more about the program and maybe come here for grad school. I don't know. We'll see. But my plan is um, to take you guys with me through the uh, interview process so you guys can see more about what it's like to apply for grad school in the sciences um, and the type of things you go through, people you meet, and experiences you have. So um, stay tuned, okay? Crazy. Uh, so since I'm in New York, I guess the hotel isn't very big, but uh, you guys can kind of see the room and see the view. <laughs> I really wish I would have got a, a haircut before I came down here. I look a little scruffy. Ooh, it's like... Yeah, so I look a little scruffy. I could have got a haircut, but it's okay. You guys can see my view. I'm here. There's a park over there. It's pretty nice. So Moses already touched on this. So don't be intimidated by what you don't know. I enjoy the Brains are capable of making multiple interpretations of the same stimuli, of the same experience. And that's fundamentally the thread that runs through all the questions that we ask in the laboratory. How does a neural network encode <coughs> a particular um, interpretation of the world? I got up, I didn't stumble, turn around, stop, and, and uh, we're doing it all the time. Our bodies, our brain is constantly active getting you from point A to point B, string actions together, helping ensure that you are um, responding to the environment properly. That Pretty big air tables. This is this Frankenstein U-shaped air table here. Uh, and this is kind of our traditional So it's now Saturday morning. Um, I'm basically finished with my entire NYU interview. I met with a lot of different faculty members and grad students and a couple tours, a couple bars here and there. Um, and I can honestly say I do like NYU. I like it more than I thought I would because I'm from North Carolina, born and raised, and I'm not a city person. Uh, but I think the thing I like about New York is that you can always find something you want to do or something that you like. Um, the PhD is already hard, so it's good to be around good people um, and to know that you'll feel supported. So that's definitely important to me, and I feel like I could find that at NYU. I met a number of people I would, or could potentially see myself being mentored by, um, and I think that's definitely positive. I, one thing I can say that was alarming was that in this interview, there's about 25 people, and I was the only, the only minority. Um, and so that was disappointing, to say the least, but that kind of brings me back to another point about what I do like about NYU, is that even if I can't find that diversity in my immediate circle in the lab, I definitely wouldn't have a problem finding it as soon as I walk outside my door, because New York is one of the most diverse cities in the entire world. Um, I, I like it, I don't know. I still got a couple more visits, so I'm headed to uh, Berkeley next week, and then Hopkins not too soon after that. Um, so we'll see, <laughs> we'll see. But I enjoyed it. So if you guys have any other questions, comments, concerns, just let me know. Um, see, I'm always repping Black Scientists Still Matter, no matter what. It's also really cool because I scheduled my return flight back to North Carolina for this evening. So now I get a full day 
in New York City to do whatever I want. So I'm about to explore a little bit. <laughs> um, as always, Michael Hopkins signing off. Good y'all, it's Mr. Hopkins here. Make sure you like and comment on this video and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, black scientists matter.